trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. Well, so much of trouble, y'all. I have to cry sometimes. I laid awake at night. But that's all right. Y'all remember that song? If you haven't, find somebody that can tell it to you. See, that was a song that... You know, a lot of my elders used to sing. I remember being small, and this one particular song, we was in Ellisville, Mississippi, at Belta AME, and uh, some of my cousins now that are growing to be elders, you know, they sung it in the choir, and, you know, we all came together singing, and even as little children, we didn't know what it meant. We just sung songs that... We were learning it. We were brought up on it. We felt it, you know. And spirit, as what it was saying when we was younger, and the Holy Ghost when we were younger, you know, that's what they said would fill the building as it touched so many people in so many different areas because of things that they went through. And they used that song to believe that this too shall pass, right? Shall pass. So after meditation, I had that song on my mind. And you know what? It made me reflect on myself, and while reflecting on myself, it may be able to help somebody else. You know, a lot of times when we go through life and start aiming towards of our dreams and our goals and our desires, you know, and we find ourselves sometimes getting weak and losing hope. It's okay, baby. Go ahead and cry a little bit. It's going to be times you stay up at night. It's going to be times where you may get a little confused. You know, but you also have to understand that as the pendulum swings one way, it's damn sure bound to swing the other way. So in that midst of that uncertainty, <laughs> in the midst of that, right? Understand that you still have to have what they say, your ducks in a row. So what you may feel that is in your way, don't keep feeling sorry for yourself. Keep planning. Keep planning. Keep planning. As for the most, the more that you plan, the more prepared you're going to be. I used to always hear it's best to be prepared. It's best to be prepared for nothing than be unprepared for a big event or something big or major that's in your life. So even though now I don't sing that song too much as I learned a lot of um, meaning behind my words. and I'm not going to call in trouble. I'm not going to call that in. But that is an ancestral song that has always stuck with me. You know, it, it is. Don't be weary in the midst of your, you know, your, your trials and what we say tribulations. Don't be weary. Keep on planning for your future. Because it don't matter who or what comes against you. You are creating your life through your mind. And as I always say, when you let other people come in, come in and create your life for you, what happens? You get all stagnant again. You know that's my word. I, I, this is for me. I've been stuck. I've been look, being deep, dang on. My own mental conflicts with other people's conflicts. Don't do that. Know and trust and believe that what you want, if you're striving and you put action behind it, it may not be right when you want it, but it's going to come in divine timing. Understand that. I send you guys peace, love, abundance, prosperity, understanding, and guidance. Much love to you. I am the leading boss lady. You guys have a great day.